I got mine here. I got a good, I got, oh, he came off. Oh, guy's back, good one, good one. Big brownie, big brownie baby, I guarantee you. Let him come up. Ah, he's coming, look at that. Oh, I told you, I told you, she's a donkey. I'm, 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 I'm locked down here. Uh, this current is going so fast, Mark. It is. Uh, he's, he's taking off the come on, come, come on, on, get that on this side of the boat. I got him. Got I got him? her here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm working her down through the weeds, bro. <laughs> oh, she's jumping in back of the boat. It's down it. around my talon. Oh man, you got to lift the motor. I'm going. For I got. I got about a four and a half pound smallie, and it's locked down around my motor. Is he clear? He's still on. Uh, oh, there, I got her. I got her. Look at all the weeds, everything. Okay. This is, you talk about pandemonium. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's time for you to play through. Okay. Right. Well, I knew this was going to be an interesting day when we looked at the excess. But I said, we got to go anyway, Mark. Oh, that's a beaut. Yeah. Well, you see this one. We can shook off some of the weeds, finally. Finally. <clears throat> How's that? For a brownie, That's through a little good. bit of pandemonium. We take good. A... It's early in the morning yeah. and it gets the blood flowing. <laughs> Did I give you a player player here? Yeah. You got the walleye players. <laughs> you know, we've been out here a grand total of about three minutes. Yeah, you know, trying to figure out how to make a cast. Mark opens up, 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 up with a wall. I said, this is what we're here for, these big brown bass. Absolutely. Mark and I do a trip every single year in late summer, early fall. Let me get her back in the water. Attaboy. And we kind of regroup on what our season was like, what's happening in the fishing industry, who's doing what where, and naturally, what are some of Rapala's new lures. Now, Mark's got an interesting job, longtime viewers, know what his job is. His, his, the majority of his career at, at Rapala has been designing new lures. And I guarantee you, many of you that are watching this show, you got some of Mark's creations in your tackle box. Good, bad, or indifferent. Or, I can hear him <laughs> say, man, I wish I had a job like yours. Well, we're gonna talk a little bit more about your job after we catch a couple more fish. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still curious about what those were. Yeah. There he is. Oh, does this one hit like a ton of brown? She'll break up. She's going to be a big one. It's a big fish. This one's a mule, buddy. She's coming up. <laughs> I told you it's going to be oh, worth it. Oh, man. You know, when they stop and it's hard to turn the handle, Oh boy, what a beaut. <laughs> boy, he's powering upstream, buddy. That's a big fish, Mark. It is a big one, Al. Oh, look at the size of this, Jim. Look at this fish. Oh, donkey this, Kong. Oh man, winter can come anytime after catching one like this. Come on, little buddy. Keep the motion going. This is a dandy smolly owl. Jeez. Yeah, I tell you what. Letting the bait do the work. And Al just called it out. He said, you throw it up in the seam, let the bait sweep. But when you can get a bait to go to work, and make a connection. It's kind of a stamp of approval. You bring it to your buddies and it takes a year, it takes two years to develop a couple of changes, a couple of modifications, a couple of tweaks. Let the fins weigh in, do their magic. I'll tell you what, there is no better satisfaction in my lifetime than to come up with a concept, play it all the way out, and then come down with a good buddy and catch one. This is, this is cool. I, I, from my heart, this is a cool deal. Al? Do I let her go? Yeah, oh yeah. All right, buddy. 